Uh, Bubos, it looks like it is your turn. An egg just dropped next to you. So I pick the egg up. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the egg goes in the backpack. Uh, the egg is not heavy. It is only five pounds. But once you touch it, you will take 66 of fire damage. 6d6? Yes. Ouch. I'm gonna die here, guys. Well, someone shouldn't be touching eggs. It's okay. Uh, so 20 fire damage. Ouch. So anyways, I cast Mass Cure Wounds. <laughs> Good idea. <laughs> so everyone gets 31 HP. Oh. This also includes your Mass of Skeletons. Yay! No. I don't, I don't know if I'm dead or affected by standard healing metrics. They uh, are. This isn't. They are? This isn't. Um... Well, are they, though? I don't think they are. Something to apply later. And. Mm -hmm. I have a bonus action. Okay. I used the word on myself. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So now you've, you've overly healed yourself. Have I, though? Have I? <laughs> 17. I got back some of it. Okay. All right. Uh, remove that slot. Thank you. All right. And that um, is going to cause me to go outside the room there. Okay. And I'm just going to step outside the room. Great. In, in my turn. Uh, Rithazar. The phoenix just disappeared on my thing. Line of sight. All right. Um, I'm going with a whole bunch of arrows. A whole bunch of them. Yes, <laughs> I lost one, so that means I have 13. There's three out here, so that's 10. 10d20. Total of seventy-eight. No. Um, <laughs> the highest is a seventeen, so I'm going to assume all miss. All of them miss. Yay! Well, with that, I am going to uh, cast Ray of Frost on mm -hmm. the Phoenix. Hmm. <clears throat> Does it have a weakness to cold damage, or is it just immune to fire? Well, I guess we'll do the damage. It's <laughs> just immune. Okay, then. Well, Ray of Frost. Fire. That is a 25 to hit, dealing 13 damage. That is my turn. Hothar, it is your turn. What are you going to do? Uh -huh. Oh boy, let's see. The thing's countered me pretty well. I can do a whole lot of not much. <laughs> uh, is it still 20 feet in the air? Correct. Um, I'm just going to shoot a thorn whip at it. It's too big for me to drag, but I can still do damage with it. Just whip it. Whip it, whip real. it good. Whip it, <laughs> whip it good. Well, the Phoenix comes along. He did, you can whip it. He did not whip it. <laughs> whip it. You must whip it. Seventeen's a miss. It is a miss. Yes. Sorry. And that is my turn. All right. Uh, at the end of your turn, Kothar. Oh no. Uh, it is going to use its three legendary actions. Oh no. Swoop down and attack you. Oh no. With its fiery talons, the first one is a 17 to hit. Miss. And the second one is a 
Nat one. Twenty one to hit. Miss. Okay. Uh-huh. <laughs> uh huh. All right, and so then it swooshes back up in the air and comes back down. This time, going for Tyrus. A nat twenty <clears throat> on the fiery talons. I'll fucking do it again. <laughs> 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 that's a hit <laughs> obviously oh, yep. okay Ooh. I'm curious as to why a 21 missed you Tyler because I have a lot of AC obviously <laughs> <laughs> Um, so, this is going to be 33 damage with the Fiery Talons. Yeah. Well, there goes that heal that you just picked up. <laughs> Alright, it's fine. 21 for the second hit. Wait, the second hit was a nat 22? No, 21 was the, the, oh, the, the, the oh, two hit. Yeah, yeah double hit. So that one's going to be 15 fire damage. Okay. All right. And up in the air. Tyrus, it is your turn. <laughs> I did not stutter. I teleport up to 30 feet to an unoccupied space I can oh see. <laughs> and until my rage ends, I can use this effect again on each of my turns as a bonus action. And I'm oh, still raging. I will fucking oh my God. do it again. So I am cut. Whoop. Teleport back up. Come down with the great axe. For a 26 to hit. That's going to do it. And that's going to be 13 damage. Okay. And again, the bonus action to fly up and come down with an axe. I'm either going to try to grab him or I'm going to fall. Roll me that free action. That athletics or strength check or, or strength check. I mean, if you're proficient with athletics, give um, you so is that athletics? Athletics, it is. I got a 10, 19. Huh, grappled. So roll again. Oh, wow, since I allowed it before. So <laughs> this will be a flat strength, right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh, it better be good. 24. Natural 20, totaling Ooh. 24. Ooh, the natural 20. Oh, man. <clears throat> so, grappled, but not restrained. Tyrus is now suspended by the neck of an ash phoenix 20 feet in the air. End my turn. So, I take a step back into the room so that I can see this damn thing. And since my concentration has yet to break, or wait, I have to do a check on that. What is it? Con save? Because I did take damage? Uh, yes. yes. Uh, yeah, my concentration broke. So, I am, upon seeing Tyrus get hit so horribly, I used rage, and by rage, I mean I turn into an air elemental. <laughs> So let me okay. uh, just uh, do that. You summon the powers of the wind and start spinning until you turn into a giant gusted tornado of an air elemental. Now, if you would, put me up next to it because I can fly as an air elemental. 
<clears throat> this ought to be interesting. Yeah, this is going to be me. Smacking the unholy hell out of it with multi-attack. All right. So it's a plus eight to hit. Right? Am I actually the plus eight? No, that would have made things easy. All right. So D20 it is. Well, that's a miss. Twenty-six to hit. Twenty-six definitely hits. All right. What is the damage of this? It is two D eight plus five. So thirteen damage. <clears throat> and I think that's probably going to be the end of that. Uh, and I'm going to yeah, in my turn. Uh, yet again, the onslaught of arrows. It is grappled but not restrained, so that means that I don't get advantage. Yes. Correct. Correct. Onslaught of arrows. Go. Let's see here. So that is a 21, a 20, and an 18. Those will hit. And yeah, that's that's it. So those three get a d6 plus two. I'll be plus six. Uh, that's yeah. 18 damage. All right. And then I myself am going to come around and I'm going to cast Toll of the Dead, 18 wisdom save on it. 18 wisdom save. I got a natural one. Oh, Jesus. I mean, I can't I can't do much with, with the natural one on the save. I'm going to consider it the same as a as a nat 20. So I get to crit my Toll of the Dead? Crit your Toll of the Dead, sir. Alright then. That is 6d12. Uh, for 37 damage. 37 damage. Anything else? Uh, no, I don't really have any bonus actions, so... That's it. Nope. So yeah, far. There's nothing else I can do. I start whipping it. <laughs> whipping it real good. Hey, 31 to hit. Nice. Jeez, yeah. Nice battle hit. Yeah. <laughs> Whipped it real good. Uh, 14 uh, piercing damage? Yeah, piercing damage. The thorny whip. Okay. Anything else? Nope, I, I got nothing else I can do. Almost got a crit on that. At the end, end of your turn. turn. Almost. At the end of your turn. turn. It is. With. With. Actually, Actually it's, it's going, going to. to... It's a legendary legendary action. Action, action form. And, and it's just first, first dropping the entire virus, taking the entire virus, will take, take 2 d 6 of damage from this fall. <laughs> Abruptly. Uh, so that's going to be 7 damage. It reconstitutes. Does the town is not bludgeoning? Yeah, yeah, falling is falling, falling bludgeoning, bludgeoning damage. damage. Okay. <laughs> so you take four bludgeoning damage. <laughs> Gravity. And it whoops down, making it a talent. Oh my. Okay. I rolled a one. I swear. It's trying to hit? It's trying to hit you. I swear. This is not. These are the dice that I use when I want to destroy you. <laughs> Obviously. Is mighty. So, am I rolling in athletics or a strength to try to grab him again? Uh, uh, athletics. 
I say or string. Well, whatever you roll, it's going to be that. 29. Jesus. <laughs> That's a 29. <laughs> I got a two. <laughs> and now a string to see if I suplex a bird. Again. Again. Yeah. A different yeah. bird. Yeah. Uh, 22. <clears throat> I got a five. Bird suplex. Uh, <laughs> Iris, you absolutely decimate this Ash Phoenix with the mother of all suplexes that brings it down so hard. You do some damage, just enough to kill it, and it explodes as Phoenixes do. <laughs> In a 60 foot radius. Oh my god. Uh, so I need a dexterity saving throw. 20 or higher. I don't think I'm going to make it on this character. I got a 13. Well, I got a nat 1 for a total of 6, so. Well, my dex is a, a plus 5 on this character. Cool. Alright. So, D20. I got a 10. <laughs> 21. Anyone that got less than a 20 is going to take 35 fire damage. My skeleton army is gone. No. no. Bubos, technically, so, you get the health of whatever you turned into. Yeah, I know. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. That took all of my skeletons away. So I'm taking half of 35, or? Uh, yeah, half of 35. Uh, so you would be taking 12. Okay. Okay, uh, that's going to wrap up combat. You said all your skeletons are gone, right? Yeah, they only have 28 health each. Even with the full healing that they got from the, the mass cure wounds, they only had 28 health, period. So. So, after the giant explosion, there's an egg. Tyrus is going to stand up, brush himself off, and go, I need a nap. And he's just going to fall backwards and pass out. Mm, lovely. What? What's the I, uh, do not have the capability of carrying this oaf. Uh, I take it then I... that you will be trying to do a short rest? Yes. Or is Tyrus, exhausted as he is, attempting to do a long rest? Tyrus would probably side with um, Airbios, but, you know. Airbios? <clears throat> wow. Well, I can't talk to him this point, so... He's probably just going to have a short rest. Uh, I'm pretty rest. sure he's going to pass out, so he's not going to know how long he's resting for. <laughs> well, I will, I have one level of exhaustion. Right. And with my HP that uh, Finn can see, I'm just like, eh, short rest is fine. Just mm -hmm. to, if that will remove the level of exhaustion, <clears throat> I think it will. Go. No, uh, no. exhaustion is long rest. Yeah. You need, if you need over. a rest. He fell down. Mm, yes, he is. Uh, he is. You tired. get advantage on initiative. Yes, I do. All right, so everybody, take a short rest then. Got 
you have to figure out how I'm doing this. This is my <gasps> Let's see. <clears throat> oh, that's right. I doubled the number. More hit die. That's good enough. More hit die. More, More. hit die. <laughs> it did not roll too well. I see that. <laughs> Whatever this is, double. That's pretty good. Well, it'll be double that action. Because of my parapet wound closure. So, of course, during this time, I have also picked up and placed the other Ash Phoenix egg in my bag. And possibly burned myself again. Yeah. Uh, okay. So, yeah, you're going to take 66 of fire damage. Uh, this time, only taking 13 damage. Question Does that not happen every turn? Um. Yes. Because I remember. Like, uh, though no more than once per round, so once every six seconds. Oh, well, that's retarded. Well, it's not going to damage me; it's in a bag. It's going to damage my bag, isn't it? I, was, I think it's in yeah, possession. It's in the bag. Well, technically, so it actually <laughs> says the fire ignites flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. Well, it's being worn and carried. <clears throat> So it can't ignite it. Ha ha! Loophole. But it can still do damage though, because like it's, it's got, you know, it's in your possession. It well, you're no fun. That depends on what the DM says. Look, the last time I tried to do this with the Phoenix Egg, I got killed. <laughs> That's you. Why you gotta ruin it for me? Uh, uh well, you don't. I mean, unless you have a bag of holding. I Absolutely not. Well, I guess to the floor they go. And no sooner have you uh, put the backpack on your back than two egg-sized holes burn through your backpack and the eggs drop back out on the ground. I was still holding the backpack. I just was going to unzip and dump. On the ground? There we go. <clears throat> uh, <clears throat> so upon waking up, the first thing he does is reach into his backpack and pulls out greater potion of healing, chugs it. That's what that 44 was. We done napping. Um, I feel better. I do hope so. Uh, after the the short rest, I'm going to go back through the room where the mirrors were back into the hallway uh -huh. and I'm going to cast animate dead on the piles of skeletons <laughs> okay Rithazar does not feel safe whenever he does not have at least 10 minions <laughs> Lumos there's another mirror here how so, many are you summoning Uh, because I took a long rest between the last ones I get another 14 I cast it at 8th level. When you had to have uh, cast it again to maintain them, though? Uh, because they I were gone. I guess it's not full 24 hours, but... 
and yes, it's, it hasn't been a full 24 hours. I got I took a long rest between, which gave me the slot back, and they're dead, so I don't have to cast it again to keep them. And technically, any cast of any level just allows me to uh, keep them. Boy, uh, casting uh -huh. uh, allows for raising and maintaining a certain number of them. So you do have to keep using the higher level when you have that many. <sighs> Normally, I cast, I think, uh, sixth level animate dead, which gives me uh, ten, uh, five of each. And then I cast... Paris has found another mirror. I normally cast uh, Animate Dead. Not Animate Dead. Um, where is it at? So, anyways, yeah. Anyways, I look at the mirror. Like, create yeah. Undead. I, I cast Create Undead to uh, get my two white. Uh, yeah. Found so mirror. you guys found another mirror. Um, and the words that were on top of it are smudged. Am I seeing anything, or no? You are not. I will note this one has a big crack on it. So, I go to the apparent flesh door over here. And you, uh, with another squelch, it opens. Tyrus is going to knock on the mirror. <laughs> and Gabriel says, come on, Tyrus. But there's no reflection. It's fine. It's already it been dispelled. It's not a big deal. Nope. I'm found stuff. Iris, as you round the corner to the hallway, you think you hear a knock behind you. But what? you could be mistaken. Come along, Minotaur. Uh, you come into a room that is covered in cooled magma at the top, but underneath bubbling hot water is flowing magma, creating this odd mix of boiling, bubbling, unnatural uh, uh, liquid. Uh, there are several bones, ca rib cages that are kind of like stretching. Perhaps long ago they belonged to a large snake of some sort, uh, spanning between the several expanses of cooled rock. It's another hot room. I don't like it. Mm, yes, I can feel the heat. It's at least a little wet. But there's a door at the end. And hmm. honestly, uh, aside from going back down the stairs, there's, this seems to be the only way to go. Hmm. Go so first. So, Dubos is gonna hop on over to this one. Okay. And then hopefully make my way across the bone here without dying horribly. Oh, there's nowhere for me to snap on that. Okay. It won't let me snap there. And then make my way across the next one. And then realize that there's a mirror. And it's just like, oh god, not again. So anyway, I cast Polymorph on myself and just turn into like, a, I don't know, a raven. <laughs> and I fly over. I don't know, a raven? I don't know, a <laughs> raven? What's something with wings? A bat. <laughs> well, I make my way in All front right. of the dang mirror. You turn into a raven. And you fly. And you can do... Go, go wherever you want, because you're a raven. Ooh. I'm a raven. I'm, I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna... I'm gonna try to avoid the mirror here and uh, open the door. Does it open? Uh, touching the door, you encounter the same energy field that you did before. Mm. I rage, grab the mirror, and throw it into the lava water. Uh, okay. <laughs> you 
pick the mirror up, you throw it into the lava, and it goes down into the hot water until it inserts into the magma and slowly sinks into the magma. And a few moments later, the mirror just kind of like phases through the wall and comes back up behind you. He both turns around. What the f- 